Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video, I'm gonna show you a soft, classic eye makeup look using drugstore makeup products. And yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to see this video since I'm only using drugstore products and I know you guys like it whenever I do like very affordable, focus makeup tutorials so let's get started the first thing i'm gonna do is prime my eyelids like i always do i feel like you should always prime your eyes first this will give the most like flawless finish so i'm gonna go in with this palette which is by essence cosmetics um, i'm gonna put all the products i use today in the description bar like i always do and i'm gonna start with blending this shade in my crease so i'm gonna blend it up quite high a little bit higher than my own natural like crease shape if that makes sense and don't worry maybe at this point it kind of looks messy but we're gonna fix that trust the process sometimes when you're creating a makeup look especially i feel like this happens when you create a smoky eye there's always this part when it just looks terrible and you're kind of feeling like oh my god is this gonna turn out great but eventually it will just keep blending and trust the process um, at the end it will all look good. So I just continue to blend. I also blend it kind of like a winked shape as you can see, but keeping the center part of the eyelid kind of empty so I could apply this light shade in that specific like area. Such a gorgeous color, kind of like a light champagne shade, which really like soft sparkle in it. So now I'm going in with this dark shade, which we used earlier. And I'm gonna use this uh, right above the lash line, kind of to create a eyeliner effect, even though it's just eyeshadow. Um, if you wanna make this shade super intense, you can also use a wet brush. You could use some water or some setting spray. And when you spray this on your brush and then dip it into the eyeshadow, it's gonna look even more dark and a little bit more, I would say you can get more like a sharper application that it really looks like eyeliner. But if you use the shade on a dry brush, it's gonna look a little bit more softer without harsh lines, if that makes sense. You just have to try it and you will know what I mean. So after doing that, I used a little bit of concealer on a blending brush and I'm just gonna blend that right below like that outer portion of the eyelid. I don't really know how you call this area, but let me know if you know the word. And um, you see, this just makes everything look so much better, look really messy. So whenever you have that, just use a little bit of concealer and that will easily fix everything for you. <laughs> so now I'm going in with that dark brown shade again, using a flat brush and kind of like sweeping my brush back and forth underneath the lower lash line. And I just continue to blend, also blended it a bit more towards the inner corner underneath the lower lash line. And then I went in with this light brown color and blended this all the way underneath the lower lash line to make everything look more soft. So now I'm going in with the Invaluable Pencil, which is by L'Oreal. It's in a nude shade. Um, so I'm gonna use this for the waterline. I think it looks really good with like the light shade on the eyelid, so. You could also do like a dark pencil in the one line, but I today wanted to use a light one. So now I'm gonna curl my lashes because it's already time for mascara. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, which is my current favorite drugstore mascara. I really like it. So I'm just gonna apply my mascara and whoops, I spilled some mascara on my skin. Whenever this happens, I just ignore it and I just continue with what I'm doing. And then I will fix it at the end. I did upload a video on my YouTube channel, which I will link in the description bar. I uploaded it yesterday, where I show you how to easily fix this without like destroying your foundation underneath it. So it will just look invisible like nothing ever happened. Check out that video, it's super short, but maybe this will come in handy whenever this happens to you. So I will link it down in the description bar. And yeah, I applied some lashes and this is the final result. I really hope you all like how it turned out. I think this eye look could easily be worn for like bridal makeup or for your birthday or for like a special occasion or for even if you wanna go to work, like I would wear this to work definitely. But yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel and yeah, I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Even if you try, you